A nation's future is built by its intellectual capital. Intellectual capital that is being produced by these esteemed institutes. Institutes which are spearheading an educational revolution. They are the education evangelists of India. This week we first take you to Ames in Bangalore. A torch bearer in the field of imparting knowledge. If we study in here, it makes us to feel that our future is secure. Ames is a college where it is actually promoting entrepreneurial development center. And since I want to be an entrepreneur one day and I want to be an employer rather than an employee, uh, I thought this is the best opportunity for me to utilize. After coming here, you're not a bookworm. They'll never let you to be one. If you are in class, they'll make sure that you go outside equally. Ames Institute in Bangalore has been striving towards its goal of providing value-based education since its inception in 1994. We started this institute uh, way back 1994 uh, with only two undergraduate programs. That was uh, one in a hotel management and one with a computer science uh, bachelor's degrees with a strength of uh, 60. And uh, but uh, the vision and passion, objective, everything remains the same till today. That is, we wanted to transform. The vision is always is to transform the youth into a global excellence in the chosen fields, whether it is management or technology or uh, arts and science, or social sciences. Dr. Kiran G. Reddy, the founder of AIMS, took inspiration from her father to become an academician and mold the youth to become responsible and accomplished citizens. We come from a very small town in Andhra Pradesh where uh, educational institutes, very good ones, are of a rarity. That is when we started a small school there with my father's inspiration. And the, he always used to tell us only one thing. We are a business family, but business is not what everything is. Your education is the foremost important thing and you all people have to ed get yourselves educated and then see that how many people in a society you can uh, really educate with a real sense of what education is. Uh, that is where we thought why not we just uh, establish a higher education institute. Offering six postgraduate and four undergraduate programs, AIMS made a name for itself within a decade of its inception by consistently being ranked as one of the best private business schools in the country. Our endeavor has always been to uh, keep, uh, keep up with the times, changing times. Um, uh, and when you see, for example, when you see our uh, education today on campus, we integrate technology into education. We, we feel that technology would play a very important role. And we encourage our faculty members to uh, use a lot of technology into their day-to-day -day, uh, learning, the way they teach, the way they innovate. AIMS is also committed to ensuring the all-round development of its students. The institute runs six centers of excellence which focus on skill development and professional leadership. While the institute boasts of an active placement cell, inculcating the spirit of entrepreneurship is given equal weightage. One of the excellent centers was entrepreneurship center because our uh, principal was always felt not only students should go for a job, they should also be able to provide jobs and uh, they should uh, become entrepreneurs. With that idea it was started. That is one thing I have seen. Is. Second thing I have seen is uh, over the last two to three years consistently we are trying to bring external people uh, to provide support in terms of building uh, skills to students. We started up our own company last year when we were in our second semester in MBA and this company is because of AIMS and my two lecturers that were Nathan and Ravi Kumar sir. So that's what I was a guy way back before five years and this is I. They have a practical example to prove. 
Students at AIMS are also encouraged to engage in community service and make their contribution for a better India. We also have launched our uh, sustainable uh, uh, development center. Uh, basically through this what we want to achieve is we want to do a lot more research, uh, do a lot more projects where we want to give solutions to the society which can make each community sustainable on its own. An environment of academic excellence. A desire to ingrain competence. Ames Institute is undeterred in its mission to create leaders of tomorrow. Established in 1980, Institute of Management Technology Ghaziabad, better known as IMT, is a premier institute renowned for management education. Providing their students with skills to become corporate leaders. And to help working professionals gain an edge in the world of business, IMT Centre for Distance Learning, built over a sprawling six-acre campus in Ghaziabad, is providing premium management qualification via distance education. Distance learning provides a huge opportunity for Indian students and especially Indian graduates who already want to get into the sunrise industries but still don't want to stop their education because uh, there is a huge cost attached to refusing career opportunities which are knocking at their doors and then taking a career break and pursuing further education. So we are among the very few Indian institutions which started working with distance learning almost close to three decades back. So we started at that particular time and right from the beginning we have always adopted innovation in uh, educational pedagogy as our key thrust area. So right from the beginning we have come out with methods where people without really spending 9 to 10 hours in a campus are still are able to acquire the educational objectives that they have uh, using either technology or using instruction design techniques. In order to maximize their students' pursuit of education, IMT CDL has devised distinct ways to impart skills through online and offline mode. I think the number one huge advantage or huge attraction people have of IMT is the curriculum that we have. We call it the concept and context curriculum. We are am among those very few institutions who have tried to bring in the real life scenarios in our education itself. The second big thing which we offer is uh, what uh, affectionately we call it edugeny because we know that uh, working professionals need a lot of flexibility uh, you know, in their learning timings. We have provided a 24-7 platform where anytime, anywhere, and not just anytime, anywhere, depending on the mood of a working professional, how he wants to learn. Does he want to learn by reading a book? Does he want to learn by uh, going through a video? Does he want to learn by going through a scenario? Does he want to learn by playing a game? There are multiple options which are given to the working professionals to pursue their education. IMT CDL faculty is attentive to each and every need of their students, helping them to learn continuously and upgrade their skills as the technology advances. In a distance learning students, the students are generally working professionals who have some exposure to working life. Their demands are different. And therefore, one has to cater to those demands in terms of time constraints, in terms of uh, understanding. But what we do is that heterogeneous crowd that comes to us, we put them into a funnel. And when they go out, we try and see that they are a homogeneous group. And that is what we try and do with this in CDL. Did you know IMT CDL is uh, taking your career to a new high and that is what uh, they are doing. Uh, it, it offers a premium management program which can be pursued without taking a career break. And they have self-study materials, online classes and highly experienced and qualified faculty. With their sight firmly set on the future, IMT CDL is making great strides in the field of distance learning. Survey after survey, recognitions after recognitions prove that we are the quality leader in the distance and online learning space in India. However, our eyes are seeing beyond that. 
we are looking at globe as our opportunity and we know that uh, while uh, hundreds of years back okay india was a seat of learning when people used to come from abroad to come and study in india that's not the situation today so we want to play our own role in this space in establishing india itself as a learning destination and imt as one of the preferred places where people would want to pursue online learning or distance learning from outside india also on the other side we showcase two colleges that believe in preparing leaders of tomorrow acharya bangalore b school followed by regional college of management in bhubaneswar fulfilling the aspirations of the youth since its inception in 2008 Acharya Bangalore B School famously known as ABBS stands tall as one of the premier educational institutions in India the ABBS came through because of the great passion and vision of our uh, chairman Dr Vijay Pal Reddy and Mrs Purnima Reddy and they had the great vision of uh, uh, coming out with a great education institution which will give a very uh, best education for students this abode of learning was founded by dr b vijaypal reddy with a vision to mold the youth into responsible leaders leaders who can take charge and pave the way for a better future i want my students to be the best i want to give world class leaders maybe it sounds unrealistic but that is my dream and create a world class infrastructure and get the best of the faculty and it is how do you think that managed product offering a wide range of undergraduate and postgraduate programs abbs is striving to foster academic excellence at undergraduate level we have bachelor of science bachelor of commerce bachelor of computer applications bachelor of journalism and communication and uh, also we have bachelor of business administration at post graduation level we have master of business administration we have msc in biotechnology msc in genetics as well as master of commerce i should uh, really thank my faculty who are equally passionate and uh, we all think from heart and do it from head the plush campus serene environment and qualified faculty have attracted students from across the world to make this institute their mecca of learning there are like lots of international students from countries like sri lanka ivory coast nepal bangladesh like all sort of countries from different continents so we have a very uh, vast amount of student here mixing their cultures and their traditions opinions ideas so this will help us like nurture from inside apart from theoretical lessons students are also exposed to practice based learning abbs houses several laboratories where students are able to hone their skills The college also runs several centers of excellence where students engage in interactive sessions with the faculty which in turn enables them to develop leadership qualities. ABBA strongly believes that out of the total students learning in 2 years of postgraduate management program 70% of the learning should come from outside the classroom. My learning experience has been pretty good. Here there are faculty who are very motivating very inspiring it helps you a lot to do your career and the best part is about the labs they're very well equipped well most of the colleges have labs but the condition is not that good here it's maintained very well and the condition they serviced every now and then so that you do not have any problem working with the instruments in the lab for me it prepares you for the world that's why how i call it because here you are you are, it's like you're given an opportunity in a small scale where that you have the world in ABBS with an active placement cell which prepares students to succeed in the fiercely competitive world ABBS also organizes industrial visits 
and industry interaction to enrich the learning experience. We are very much uh, with industry. Our curriculum development is in consultation with industry people. Industry experts come here and address our students and share their experience. And we have the industry internship for the students. And the students do visit various industries to learn uh, as to how industries are run, how it is managed. So like that, a lot of industry input is there. A funful environment combined with a plethora of extracurricular activities ensures the all-round development of its students. What Acharya tries to do is add a little bit of extra edge, like augmentation. You augment a college, you make it bigger in size. So that is what it does. So like we have these few extra classes and then like sports and these functions and then discussions. So I've grown as a person. I know what is happening in this country. I know what is happening outside. So that is basically what happens here. All my students should be the best in India. They should be working in the biggest of the companies, topmost companies, where they'll be known. On my own, I do not want to be known. I want to be known through my students. With a keen focus on experiential learning, ABBS is determined to offer the best to its students and evolve as one of the most sought after management institutes in India. Established in 1982, the first management college in Odisha, the Regional College of Management, Bhubaneswar, has been striving to offer an all-rounded extensive educational program to its students. Our motto of the institute is passion for innovative education. We have passion for education and not only education but innovative education like providing you know, ethical training, social training, so that we will be leaders for tomorrow to, to, to head the business organization, social organization and society by large. The Regional College of Management believes in creating young visionaries who are ready to face global challenges and take India to the next level. And a highly efficient placement system has been set in place in order to actualize that vision. Most of the large companies in this country you know, they come for campus recruitment. We have been FFCG companies, we have bankings, we have uh, uh, financial, core financial jobs, derivatives, and in these places we do this. Our, our uh, placement is almost 100%, leaving aside, you know, uh, about 20% people who are going for uh, entrepreneurship, family business, and individual business. And we do help them also to, to, to for entrepreneurship, uh, entrepreneurs for going for uh, businesses by suggesting them and helping them after the course is over also. A thoroughly well-bred faculty provides the students with the opportunity to learn from the very best and also enhance their own skills to achieve and sustain excellent quality across all subjects of study. In order to give a better exposure to our students, we have groomed our faculties in organizations like IAM and other FDP programs and currently our faculty members are also engaged in organizing MDPs, research and consultancy. And many faculties belonging to the PGDM stream are totally PhD holders. They have done their PhD in the respective areas and they're attached to the PGDM department. And many of them are also having IM exposure and experience. They're qualified from IA. Uh, so we are, they are contributing in a good way. Giving hands-on training and real-world exposure is the key to growing into excellent management professionals. At RCM, students are urged to develop the necessary skills to become professionally sound and socially responsible leaders. We give them a mock, a virtual cash of 15 lakhs and the, how they manage their portfolio. So it was a workshop, uh, it was not exactly a workshop, it was introduced as a workshop and it was prolonged for 10 days, how they manage their fund and how much they gain and there was a ranking of first, second, third like that. So this gives them the real field, market of how you trade, how you manage the portfolio. So this type of real skill and exposure are very important for the students in today's world. To help the students be industry ready, just an MBA course does not make them employable. So to make them industry ready, we uh, 
send them to uh, tell them send them for industry visits very often also our students get uh, uh, feel lucky to be uh, to interact with corporate leaders and uh, industry leaders and ceos from the corporate world the students at rcm involve themselves in the curriculum thoroughly and make the course structure a way of life be it theoretical know-how or practical knowledge the institute enables the students to grasp all concepts and broaden their horizon the learning experience at rcm is like a sapling growing into a tree day by day i am learning new things in these two years i have seen myself grow here i have become much more confident eloquent i can talk to people i can present myself in front of people and i have become a new person as a whole and the most important part is we came here as a stone untouched and by the shapers whom we called as professors or teachers or uh, people who who have shaped our life and turned turned this stone the shapeless stone into shape of leader rcm aims to provide quality education to students and inculcate within them a passion for knowledge and learning to create globally competitive future managers who will march forth with confidence with a vision to better the world